recording? Yes, sir. All right. You can just keep it on the panel. Okay. So you pick your power source, uh, probably 95% of the time you're going to be using the generator. There's also a start button on the generator as well. I'll show you that when we go outside. This is your 12 volt system. This will work off your house batteries. You don't have to have the generator on anything for that. However, uh, when you turn this on without uh, turning on your, um, I'm getting, we'll edit this out. Pick your source, whatever, if you plug in, your sewer amps will be lit up. Um, right now the generator is running, so that's lit up, so we just power this panel. Now when you turn this on, you're going to want to turn on the converter and battery chargers. Uh, that will recharge the house batteries, because we're using the, uh, the switches and stuff powered off the house batteries. Then you start turning on, I only turn on things I need. It saves power and saves the, uh, the life on the light bulbs or whatever else you're using, so we don't need under cabinet. Uh, PS is passenger side, so you've got exterior lights out there. Flip those on, you'll have lights going on. Step well lights, uh, don't really need those. Um, power awning, that is for your awning. We'll go over that in a second, we'll turn it on. And then your HVAC thermostats. Um, you have to have those on in order to power the thermostats, which will then give you your environmental air going on. Uh, let's see. Front room receptacles, uh, receptacles. This is uh, audio visual system network. Turn that on. AC, you'll probably want that when the time comes. Um, we'll turn on some heaters. You don't want to just take take your hand and just start flipping switches like that. Just flip them one at a time, take your time doing it. Also, let the generator warm up about 10 minutes before you start using it. So, when you're in route somewhere, go ahead and start the generator. When you get there, you'll be ready to go. It's been running, so we were able to do that. All right, your heater for back here, the switch right here, and the heat is coming out down here. The HVA thermostat is right there. That's uh, if you're heating. <clears throat> the heater's the best use, the best just electric heat. And it also go, uh, has the option for gas. I don't think you have propane on here. So it'll just, um, that's mainly for air conditioning and a little bit of warmth inside. And that's, you just set the zone. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, up here, the uh, Heat. Got a base wall heater here. You flip that on for the heat. Um, CO2 detector, smoke detector. There's another heater switch here, and also another thermostat switch here. The heat's coming out down there. You can feel the heat. All right, let's go on to the back here. Um, self-explanatory right here. Your cabinets. Fortunately, this is not... You have to move the TV to open this cabinet. There's a, I don't think there's anything in these cabinets that... I think it's just storage. You're the tech guy, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so this, you know what's going on here. Um, it's all different, so we don't, we don't train heavily on that. Um, let's go outside. We'll do the wheelchair left when we get to that. Switches on. Extend. Take one out. Maybe locked. Breakers, the things that should be working and are not. This is the last fail safe. You want to here and check, to make sure the breakers are all on or off. Just flip the switch in, flip them back up. Now these have two uh, door latches here and here. So sometimes, if you don't shut them correctly, got this. Got the pocket, pocket 
like leg and arm. These are batteries. These are, I believe, are your chat from your house batteries. They are maintenance free, so just check them every now and then, make sure they're not corroded. The uh, nuts are tight, that sort of thing. No storage, don't store things here. Steps. I wouldn't pause that. Your driver. You know, okay. Whoever drives, uh, there will be a light up here that says "Wait to start." For diesels, you want to let the end, the uh, coil heat up. Wait for that. All right. Once you're on site, you want to be on a pretty level area. If um, if you beat the theater level, hit the auto level. That will automatically drop everything. If it's too steep, you'll see this excessive slope light up. In that case, you just hit auto, and leave our, I think this it won't go down at all, it's just automatically track. Then you'll set them manually. On this, this will do both on the left side, both on the right side. As you extend and then retract, just hit those to bring it back up, and just adjust the front and rear. You can stop that now. About once a month, you want to lubricate the shaft. You just spray some WD-40. We also got some lubricant in there just at the top, let it drain down. After you've done them all, come back and just wipe the pad. You don't don't wipe the shaft, just wipe the pad, just get the excess up. Now here in Texas, black tops get really soft, so you want to get some jack pads. If we can fit the other going back in that, put something underneath that, otherwise you're going to be leaving divots in the ground. Especially on parking on grass, you can know, put the jack pads down. Some people make it free of paper, it's plywood, they make 12 by 12, sandwich them together. Let's do the step. All right. When you get parked, these are heavy duty steps. These steps will wear out really quick. weight 500 pounds. This has a sensor on it. Right here when it touches here it automatically keeps the steps in. There's latches underneath there. Here and here. Latches go here. You notice when you're backing up and your screen's a little bit fuzzy, just going up there and clean off your lens. Uh, you can stand on the roof. I think you have two guys up there. You don't have a party up there, but if you need to get up there, there you go. Back. Your storage, your cord. This is a step down. If you plug in directly, you can run everything if you plug in, uh, let's see, this way you can probably run one, run one air conditioner and some lights and maybe a few outlets. If you run this, this is plugged into a regular outlet, uh, you can maybe have a light on and triple charge with the battery. You probably never use this. If you have to go down to that, you need to turn the generator on. Storage. Very important. 
diesel fuel. Diesel fuel. It's green. So when you go to the pump, put in diesel fuel. I don't know, it's really bad when they put the regular here and the diesel fuel here and people, so make sure you put in diesel fuel. Where it says diesel fuel. There's something before that says diesel fuel. Diesel fuel. signal camera. Can you turn left? The camera's right there. It illuminates starting about here. It's a real good blind spot. Same thing on the right side. You have power mirrors only for the top. The bottom you have to set manually. Checking the oil. Some basic stuff. The handle here. Pull up on the handle. Not a whole lot of room. Oil. Engine fill, tranny fill. Uh, where is your transmission stick? I know you got one. It's on. Any freeze? Push your washer fluid. That's kind of about all you can do up here. When you shut it, you need to kind of grab, slam it down and up. 